from the farm 2021. I am so excited for this year. Um, it's going to be an amazing year. This is Miss Ellie, and we're always learning here at Dairy Discovery. And so I asked Ellie, what are some of the things that you want to learn? And one of the questions were that you asked me was, I was wondering, um, do cows have four stomachs? And that's a good question. It comes up a lot. Cows do not have four stomachs. They have one stomach, but it has four parts to it, four chambers to it. So we're going to learn all about that today. And Ellie is actually going to teach you guys some of this stuff. So Yay. a cow that has four chambers to its stomach is called a, remember, ruminant. It's a ruminant animal. And there are actually a lot of ruminant animals. Cows are not the only ones. So let's go find some of those. Hey, so we know that cows are ruminant animals. This year is a bongo antelope. She as well as a ruminant. A lot of antelope are related to deer in a sense. We found some more ruminant animals. Here's our antelopes. They are another ruminant animal. So this cow's stomach is special because it has four different parts to it. So there is the rumen, the reticulum, the omasum, and the abo made some. The cow eats its very special food and passes it into the rumen, where it is digested with the help of bacteria and passed into the reticulum. This is the reticulum. The inside of the reticulum looks like a honeycomb. The big ball of cud from the rumen is made into smaller balls of cud in the reticulum. The balls of cud are burped up and chewed and 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 burped up and up to 60 times. Have you ever seen a cow chewing its cud? After the cow burps up its cud and chews it 60 times, it can pass into the omasum. The omasum absorbs the fatty acids, water, and electrolytes. After the water is taken out of the food in the omasum, it is ready to go into the abomasum. The abomasum is a stomach much like yours or mine. The protein is taken out here. And then the food goes all the way, and where do you think it goes next? Well, here's another friend. She kind of looks like one of our cows. She's got the black and the white, and she is a ruminant animal. All right, Ellie, teach us about this camel. <laughs> So these camels are not true ruminant animals because they only have three stomachs or parts to their stomach. But what is she doing still that shows but us that she's still she... chewing her cud like our cows. All right, what do we have here? Look at those horns. Ellie, we are someplace very special right now. Where are we? We're at Boulder Ridge and these are the giraffes. Did you guys know? that giraffes are ruminant animals. They also chew their cud. The little boy over here was chewing his cud, cud earlier and now he's just chewing on the fence a little bit. So this is the girl. So she does get a very, you can't really see their udder. So they're a little bit different than the cow because their udder is kind of tucked away and it doesn't really bag up, right? But they're very beautiful and I am surprised to find out that they are ruminant. All right, who else do we have that's ruminant? Who, who else ruminant? We have gazelles here. These are dama gazelles. The ears are more of an endangered gazelle than the other ones. But they as well eat hay and have a four chamber stomach. So a ruminant animal is an animal that is an herbivore and a mammal. And so an herbivore means that they only eat plants. They don't eat meat. And um, it's a mammal, so it has hair or fur and gives birth live and uh, it produces milk. And our cows produce milk, don't they? Our girls do. Um, and the 
plants they eat, they're very special. Do you guys eat cotton seed at home? See this cotton seed right here? Have you ever eaten cotton seed? Or how about hay? Do you eat grass and hay at home? Or maybe corn silage? Look at this is the leaf of a corn. Do you eat that at home? These are foods that we could eat. If we ate them, we'd probably get a stomach ache. But our cows can eat them and they can digest them through their four parts of their stomachs and they will make us milk. Oh, here's something else being made right now too. Thanks for joining me on my first facts from the farm. It was so fun learning about the four parts to a stomach and the different ruminant animals. Thanks to Melva for sharing her goats with us and for Boulder Ridge for giving us that wonderful tour. 